International MI, we are going to do a quick recap of the webinar, Next Gen Marketing and Sales. So, next generation, who are they? This is Gen Z, and how are they different from millennials? So, Gen Z is the generation that follows the millennials. They were born in the 1990s. So, the majority of Gen Z is multicultural, and they are true digital natives. So this is really important when thinking about the one size does not fit all marketing strategy because now more than ever, the younger generations are going to be really diverse and really technically savvy. They are socially justice minded. So once again, like, like millennials, they care about causes, about social impact and knowing that where they put their money and the companies that they support and the people that they support are, are doing good in their communities. They are financially conservative. Um, Gen Z grew up in the recession. They watched the millennials graduate from college during the recession and you know, come out with either no jobs or low paying jobs, a lot of student debt. Um, so they are really thinking a lot, a lot more about where their money goes, about savings, about investing, things like that. Um, a lot of Gen Z are actually more interested in buying homes than millennials were because they wanna know that they're making a great investment in their future. They are entrepreneurial and they are highly individual. So what is their consumer behavior? They are mobile dominant. They use social media more for entertainment and content consumption than connecting with friends, which is a big difference between the baby boomers and traditionalists. A lot of older generations tend to use um, social media for connecting with family and friends, whereas the younger generations are actually using it as a way to look up businesses, it is where a lot of their entertainment is now. Um, so this is where you want to put your message and your product out there if you want to see to get that viewership. They have a short attention span. They're multitasking, you know, they grew up with an iPad basically. So you want to make sure that they're getting their information quickly and they'll you know, they'll move on after eight seconds of a video. They are into authentic messaging. They want to see real people, real messages on the internet, on ads, on your social media page. They don't like to see models as much or stock photos or salesy language. They really want to see and hear your authentic story. They're influenced by influencers. So this might sound counterintuitive, but influencers don't necessarily mean models or famous people, but they are real people in the community that have gained a following and are able to influence the purchasing decisions of other Gen Zers and Millennials. 80% of Gen Z is thinking about owning a home. So back to their financial responsibility, they don't want to rent, they want to buy, they want to be saving and really create, making smart financial decisions about their future. So let's talk about some sales messaging tips. How do we connect with the Gen Zers? How do we br bridge that gap between the generations? Um, you want to start building the connection now. Some of them are probably too young to be thinking about buying a home, but you want to build the relationship and you want to prep them for a healthy financial future with um, financial tips, holding educational seminars, maybe connecting with their parents, um, and just making sure that you're out there and you're visible for them uh, starting now. Appeal to their value for investment. So like I said, they want to invest in their future. They don't want to waste money or make unsmart decisions. So really um, hone in on that. Strengthen your personal brand. They're socially aware. So you want to be authentic and make sure that you're posting personal photos of you and taking videos and showing the real behind the scenes um, look at who you are as a brand and as a professional. Meet them where they are. Gen Zers are on social media all the time. Um, this is where they're existing. So you want to be using all of the platforms that they use. The top three platforms for Gen Z is Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, consult with your kids, younger colleagues, but just engage and be authentic. That will help you get get a little bit closer. Gen Z is multicultural and they value individuality. So that makes it a little bit tougher to kind of put out one marketing strategy and think it's going to you know, reach everyone. So you wanna think about building micro campaigns that can consider the different values and, and, and different ideals that exist among Gen Z. And then finally, stay modern. So think about offering resources online, um, 
like educational tips, tools, handouts, things like that. Be on social media, make sure you're linking your social media to your modern website, and then be quick to respond on messaging. This is where millennials and Gen Z exist. They're always on the go and want to hear back from you. So even if it's just a, hey, I'll get back to you later or tomorrow, be responsive and they will want to connect and not move on to the next person. So that is Gen Z in a nutshell. Thanks.